I've known this one forever. So guys, my name is Denny Anime, and we're going to quickly be talking about the new One Piece chapter, I believe, 842. So, getting right into it, one, the whole Luffy versus Cracker fight, like, it really is an MVP for Nami, just because without Nami, Luffy would not have been able to win this fight, in my opinion. And a lot of these fights that Luffy has been in throughout the New World, I feel like he can't do it on his own. Like with Doflamingo, that was a very significant villain in Dressrosa. And seeing that he couldn't do it as on, he had to have Law's help. It's like showing, yeah, he, he's not the most powerful, uh, you know, person in the One Piece universe, but still he's able to do these attacks and able to take people down with the help of his Nakama. And I think that's kind of like that whole teamwork-esque feel in stories that kind of everyone kind of uses. So I'm like, I'm okay with it to an extent, but I feel like this is Luffy's journey to Pirate King, but he should be doing his fights on his own, but his crew should be right behind him, pushing him forward. Well, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but you know, yeah. Okay, okay. Moving on to the next thing, we do have the stuff with Sanji a little bit. I do feel that was a little bit of filler stuff, but also it did give us an extent of kind of the story progressing with Sanji as well. Kind of their both stories are kind of co eventually converged at one point where we have the point of view of Sanji and the point of view of Luffy come together, and we're going to see both points of view come together, kind of like I just said, but it's going to be all one story that comes connected together and works out. Hopefully, now at this point, it, I don't know how Luffy's going to win, but it, it seems like he's going to need the help of everybody there in order to take Sanji back. And seeing how powerful the rest of Sanji's brothers are, and his sister as well, Reju. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We're going to be very interesting no matter what, and however it does turn out, I will be uh, very, very interested uh, to say the least. Also, going on that note, I would like to compliment Luffy's new form, and for all those theorists being like, I predicted it, I predicted it, you can chill out, because like, I think it's, it's, it's not obvious, but like, everybody talked about it enough to the point where it's kind of that obvious point, and once it gets to that point, I think it becomes way too much obvious, kind of like the whole Sanji Prince-esque assassin thing. Like, everybody talked about that, and yeah, you know, you know, it came true. So somewhere in the middle there, those rumors are kind of true, so I, I don't know where that lies to an extent. Now going on, yeah, with the whole Luffy Gear 4th form, the new tank form, I feel like this is more of a defense form, and the form we have seen Bounce Man is more of an attack form, so that makes me think there's a defense, attack, maybe there's a speed, maybe there's, I don't know, other, I don't know what else you could have, maybe agility, something like that, I, I don't know, because we did see agility previously with other stuff Luffy has done. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chapter, and I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. I know it was kind of quick, I don't have a lot of time lately just because of college and I really do apologize that apologize about that but peace out guys